Well, let me add to that right where I think news agencies came off on that. They said, hey, in the WWDC 2010 keynote, Jobs gets up on stage and says, this is brilliant engineering. We believe this is one of the best antennas. Okay? Words that came they, to bite him in the butt. <laughs> exactly. And check it out. Then they Apple admits that they have more dropped calls than the 3GS. There's something wrong with the logic there. If this is the greatest engineering and the best antenna, mm -hmm. the iPhone 4 should be leaps and bounds ahead in terms of antenna uh, performance versus a 3GS. And it has more dropped calls. Logically, that's a flop. I mean, you, you essentially and logically have completely eradicated any type of spin you've tried to put on that intent and its design. I mean, that, I, and so I think that people put two and two together, especially mainstream media, because they're expecting Apple is always this perfectionist company. They make such well, well no, that, that was the other thing. That it's like, uh, and, and some Apple fanboys have pointed this out. They've said, you know what, y'all would not be making a big deal out of this if this was anyone but Apple. You make a big deal out of it because it's Apple. Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, that's probably a little true. But then again, Apple's whole public image that they try and present themselves as is that right. they are perfect, that they don't do right. these mistakes, that they're an order of magnitude better than every other OEM out there. And the one thing that this has made abundantly clear is that not always. Right. <laughs> I, now, the message of perfection comes from fanboys. The message of passion comes from Apple. It's, I, I don't know if I've ever remembered to say that, you know, Jobs comes out of the gate saying, oh, you know, this is, this is perfection. He's usually saying, I make products that I want to use myself. I have such passion for my, you know, for my, 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 my customers. I have such passion for my products. Well, know? and that, that was one of the things here that was bugging a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it's his articulation in, in, in giving an accent mark to everything about the products that comes off as saying this is an elite thing. And then the fanboys, of course, being completely uh, to and totally into uh, the, the, the charisma and, the, and the, the sales pitch translate that that this is like you know Apple's always superior and I can see how it you know comes up on that but you know Wozniak and Jobs at one point in time when they were posed with the question of saying hey you know how, how do you feel about the you know these uh, avid and, and, and just fans that are just totally engrossed that they didn't want anything really to they didn't they what didn't want to be burdened with that or, or labeled that. They didn't necessarily agree with that type of behavior from, from their fan base. So, uh, I mean, they, they have been they have stated that on record. I mean, it, that was some years ago, but nonetheless... I'm not sure you could... Uh, you could probably get Wozniak to say that today. I'm not sure you could get Steve well, Jobs to. Uh, yeah, this happened years... I mean, this was years ago when, when uh, Jobs was asked. I mean, I don't know what he would say if, if he was asked today. Um, I yeah, yeah, it's like because the, 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 the but you know, it, we're not a religion. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. It's like um, I, I honestly feel, as far as talking about Apple, Steve Jobs was much more honest in that period from I want to say '98 to '03, right, right, at, till right after he came back, and for a little bit why he came back to Apple, but then after that, he, he started. He, be, I, I don't want to say started lying, but started kind of walking the fine line between appeasing fanboys and appeasing shareholders, and it's 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 hard to get a very honest answer, candid. I don't want to say honest is the wrong word, but candid answer when it comes to stuff like that out of Yobs today. Well, Apple's definitely under a much lot, you know, they're they're definitely under magnifying glass at this point versus earlier years because they have a much um, stronger position in other markets and, and, and have even created markets and 
are definitely uh, in the spotlight as well, and so of course that's going to draw attention, and then you must be careful at that point when you have that much attention. Well, and that's the other thing. It's yeah. Apple. I know Apple's still a small company, but they're not mm -hmm. the small company anymore. I mean, they're. No, they're not. Yeah. 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 And, and that's one of those things. I, I don't think anyone at Apple has really figured out how to make that transition. <laughs> it, 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 it's because it's one of those it's that they, they want to be the small guy so they can do, so they can do all these things that once you pass a certain size, aside from the ethical implications, they're not legal anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. as well as an underdog position. you know it's that's always been their position um, makes the, you know, as soon as Windows 3.1.1 came out. You know, of course they were the market leader uh, back when they started, but as soon as Windows had overtaken the Macintosh, they, and they relished in this underdog position. And I think, yeah, of course they, that always suited uh, Apple well versus, because they've always had this Go against the big brother kind of attitude. Uh, it, there is no other big brother to go against. Well, no, no, that's the thing, and that's one of the things I don't like about Apple. To be quite honest, like you say, they always have to go find big brother and attack him. And if there is no big brother, they have to make somebody big brother. Um, well, yeah, it's an easier sell. <laughs> well, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, it, it's uh, what I always find it funny is when they go and create a Big Brother, who they choose to be Big Brother, because it's not like there isn't always a Big Brother around, and I've always found it interesting who they choose. It's like, ah, uh, but uh, I, I don't know. It's so uh, it's uh on the. the but I will say, bumpers. I don't. I don't even think that he should have given out bumper. I just think that they should have it worked. Here, you want to return it? Fine. And, well, they'd uh, already done that, and it hadn't it hadn't stemmed the viral tide. I think at this point, given past mistakes, I think if they nipped it in the bud to start with, and like you said, that email had never gone out and everything else, they probably would have never had to give away free bumpers. It, 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 in extreme cases, where there's no other solution, probably... I would say maybe 5% of people would have got a free bumper, but it would have been a very under-the-table thing done after Apple Care and Apple Stores and everything had tried everything else to alleviate the problem and gone through every other check stunt, and it would have just been, the person's going to return the phone if you don't fix it, and they would have gone, here, take the bumper. Very much like when people uh, with the iTunes DRM is screwed up, and somebody can't get access to their media, Apple will go, well, we're not supposed to do this, but let me send this little signal to unlock all your stuff, and yada yada and so right. forth. And it would have been isolated cases. Because the public spotlight was on this at this point, the easiest and cheapest way, especially since Apple's stock had started to take a hit, the most efficient way to honor their shareholders was to just go, let's give away this 50 cent thing that we're selling for 30 bucks and yeah. and 30. and have official third party cuts. So I mean, it's like, I, I, you didn't buy a case that you're going to get any money back for. I think the case you bought is one of the ones that isn't... Yeah, the, my wife's case for her iPhone yeah. is an AT&T one that they were, I think it's an Incipio or something like that. Now, I, I would imagine that if Apple chooses the Incipio case as one of the because they haven't uh, said yet which those are going to be yet. <laughs> and see, I think that they, they just. I wonder if. I wonder if Jobs decided to give away cases right then and there. I saw his face, and because they weren't quite sure how they were going to do it, and they weren't. They're not really prepared to just give out free bumpers. They said they're going to do it, and and work, and also try to get out other cases. But I think that was a haste. A haste. Uh, yeah, has he made you know, you know, statement decision to say, hey, we're going to give away bumpers. I mean, it was it, it, when I looked at him make that statement, it felt like he still had some reservations. 